Hello. Today we'll be solving questions on the micrometer screw gauge and the vernier caliper. These are the questions we'll be solving on the vernier caliper, and then we'll solve these questions on the micrometer screw gauge. Stay tuned while we solve all of these. We start with the vernier caliper. Question one: What is the reading on the vernier caliper? So the first thing you do, you look at the main scale. Okay, this scale here is the main scale and the one below it is the vernier scale. So what value do we have? This is one centimeter. The vernier caliper calibrated in centimeter. One, um, okay, we've not gotten to two. What um, division do we have here? This is 1.5, 1.6, 1.7. So we have 1.7. Then we pick the reading on the vernier scale that is in line with any of this division on the main scale. So where we have two lines, they are as if they are joining together. Okay, I think this is number four. Let me zoom into this four. So you see, this line on the main scale and this line on the vernier scale, they are directly on each other. Okay, and the reading here is four. And that's why we are going to pick four here. So the reading is just 1.74 centimeters. That's what we have in number one. Let's go straight to question number two. What is the reading? What's the reading on this vernier caliper? So this is zero, this is one. So um, you know this vernier scale comes before we get to one. So what value do we have? 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8. So we have 0 0.8 on the main scale, okay? And then we have the vernier scale. So what value on the vernier scale is in line with any of this division on the main scale? I will zoom in so I can see that clearly. So that is zero. That's zero. Okay, it's zero. 0 0.80 zero centimeter. So that's what we have here. Don't forget that the vernier caliper is calibrated in centimeters. And that's why I'm picking 0 0.80 zero centimeters. Okay? Yeah, because it comes before one. Let me go straight to the next question. So here, the zero points has been chopped off. We are just starting from seven, and we are ending it at around nine. So our answer should be within this place. What is the reading here? Don't forget the vernier caliper is calibrated in centimeter. So this is seven, 7 7.5, 7 7.6, 7.7, 7 7.8, 7 7.9. 7 7.9 is the value we have on the main scale just before the vernier scale comes in, okay? After 7.9, then the vernier scale. So you come and read what we have on the vernier scale. Let me zoom in so we can pick our answer correctly. So where do we have this line joining with any of these lines? Okay, this is the one we have here, which is five. Five. So I'll put five here, 7.95. Okay, so the answer I have here is 7.95 centimeters. Let's go straight to that is all for the vernier caliper. Now we're talking about the micrometer screw gauge. First question, what's the reading on this micrometer screw gauge? What do we have here? Um, don't forget that the micrometer screw gauge is calibrated in millimeter. Okay, so this is five, this is 10. Then the one here should be 11. So my answer here should be 11. Then I put my decimal point, And then I come here to pick what value I have on this straight line. Just the way we are picking where two um, lines meet, okay, like where we have one line joining the other on the vernier caliper, on the metrometer screw gauge, I will pick the line that is in line with this horizontal line here, okay, and this is what I have here. What value do I have here? If this is 0, 60, this is 65, 66, 67, 68. So I write 68 millimeter. 11.68 millimeter. That's my answer here. I'll go straight to question number two. What value do I have here? Don't forget that the micrometer screw gauge is calibrated in millimeter. This is 9, 9.5. So I have 9.5. Why? Because in between any two adjacent division, there is a smaller division, which is 0.5. So I have 9.5 here. And then I'll come here to pick the value I have here. So I will look at this horizontal line. Let me zoom in so I can see that clearly. I will pick this horizontal line here and then I will trace it until I get the value I have on this line, which is 4, 7. Okay, so here I won't just write 
first seven in front of it because I already have a decimal point. So I'll just put my first seven here. So I'm adding 9.5 with 0.47. That's what I have here because I already have up to 50. Okay, and then I start again. The point here is that this um, venial scale does not cover the entire 100. It covers just 50. And that's why I have a smaller division here. So I'll just add these two together. This is 7, this is 9, this is 9. So 9.97 millimeters. That is my answer to question number 2. We go straight to question number 3. What's the reading on this uh, micrometer scroll gauge? This is 0, this is 10. Then this will be 11, 12, 13, 14. I have 14, I put my decimal point. Then what value do I have here? I'll trace this here. So this is what I have. So if this is 2, 0, and this is 2, 5, then here should be 2, 1. 2, 1 millimeter. You see how easy it is? Yes, it's very easy. Okay, so pause this video and type your answer to this. Type it on the comments and send this in the comment section. I want to check your answer. I'll answer it. 10, 20, 30. This is 35, 36, 37. So I have 37 and my decimal point. What value do I have here? If this is 30, this is 35, 36, 37. 37. 37.37 millimeter. Easy. Now I'll go to the last one. This one can be a bit um, challenging, but it's very easy. If this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I have seven decimal point but don't forget that between zero and one i have four smaller division this is 0 0.5 0 0.75 1 1.25 1 1.5 1.75 2 okay why because then between any two adjacent division i have four smaller division okay so if i divide one by four i get 0 0.25 that means each of these smaller division is 0 0.25 so if this is seven this is 7.5 no, if this is 7, the next one will be 7.25, the next one will be 7.5, and then this one here will be 7.75. So I already have 7.75. Now I come here to pick the value I have here and add it. So this is 5, this is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. If this is 10, this is 11, this is 12, this is 13, this is 14. Between 13 and 14, I have 13, 13, I have 1, 3, 5. Yeah, I have 1, 3, 5. 1, 3, 5. So now I'm going to add this together. 0 0.135. Yeah, you know, I can't spell it 13.5 because it's already on the decimal point. So that will be 0 0.135. Okay, so this is um, 0 0.135. Yeah, this is 51015. Yeah, this is um, 131415. Between 13 and 14, I have 135. 0 0.135. So if I add this together, I have 5 here, I have 8 here, I have 8 here, decimal point 7 millimeter, which is 8.885 millimeter. And don't forget that this is the same thing as 7,885 micrometer. That's why we call it micrometer scroll gauge because we can successfully get our measurements to up to micrometer level. Yeah, but no, we are not going to state our answer like this. We are just going to state our answer in millimeter because the micrometer scroll gauge is actually calibrated in millimeter. So this is the answer to the last question. I believe this concept is perfectly understood. Do have a nice day.